And Bruno Yi has died. And left. Oh, I just got payday. <gasps> and Child Bowen is here. Hello, and welcome back to another day in our Not So Very family. So let's have a little check in on how everyone's doing. Gordon is good. He's at work. He is working hard. His fun's a little bit low. So is his hygiene. Uh, he is happy. He's still finding it difficult. He's left rain in the morning. Like, he still finds rain a difficult child. Liv is just really happy because she likes fruitcake, which is weird. Rain is at school. He is stinky, but he is a teenager. I did remove the first crush part of the preteen mod just to see if it fixes like some of the issues that I was having last time. For whatever reason, that mod didn't work well for me. I don't think it's anything to do with the mod creator. I think it's probably clashing with another mod that I have. Anyone has found success with it, please let me know in the comments below. If anyone had the same issue with the height thing, let me know in the comments below. We've got Iris at school who's not having much fun. She is a little bit bored at school. She's also been eating too many quick meals and desserts, so fun cooked meal tonight for sure and little bowen is at daycare so whilst i wait from them to get home from school let's have a little nosy at the plan for today so when they get home from work and i get money i'm gonna use some of it on the basement because um oh you need a new challenge present some suggestions iris is in the range to earn the good manners tray and medium performance gain could we be in line for another promotion Maybe not today, but you never know. You never know. Fingers crossed, because I really want her to quit a job. But yeah, I want to spend a little bit more money in the basement, because like, you know, Rain is our unruly teenager, but I don't want him to feel like he's not like a loved member of the family. So I want to build him like a little cool gaming area where he can like invite his friends around and whatnot. He is going for this villainous Valentine thing, and I need to start making some progress on that. So I will try and do that too. Speaking of aspirations, we still need to work on lives. She's still only on the first part of the super parent because she doesn't discipline her children very much. She's a soft touch parent. So I'll need to make sure I do some of that this evening as well. Hopefully someone has a meltdown. And just checking in on everyone's ages. Liv has 16 days left until she becomes an elder. Literally. How scary is that? Gordon has 15 days left. Rain is home from high school. Well done. Hello, Rain. Why don't you go get a shower? Because you're having a stinky teenager moment here. Rain's also in a bit of a mean streak at the moment. It has nine days left of being a teenager. And Iris has four days left and Bowen has two. Okay, Bowen's probably gonna go ahead and age up in today's episode. So we've got that to look forward to. Right, whilst I wait for everyone to get home, I'm gonna be helpful. Do some chores. I'm gonna do some cleaning up so they can focus on a nice meal instead. I'm still really enjoying the new house. Oh, an empty food bowl. No one ever wants to see that. We don't currently have a pet. I kind of want a pet. I feel like, you know, they've got this very cute like little house, this very cute little street with their 2.5 children. It's actually three, but toddlers are like half size, right? They're like schmoll. So yeah, they've got this like very idyllic life and I sort of feel like a little dog would be perfect for that or a big dog, like a Labrador Sorry, type situation. Iris is back home from school. Iris, what grades are you on at school, my love? You are a grade C student. And oh my gosh, Gordon's been promoted. Gordon, you got promoted to community organizer. Your fun is really low and so is Iris's. Why don't you guys go watch like some movies together? Go watch a little kid's fun. Oh, that is actually not going to entertain you one bit, is it? Go watch Lost Dog's Journey Home. There you go. Yeah, he's now on level four of the politician career. Well done you. I think we will choose like his branch at maybe six or seven. And we're going to send him down like the charity route. Okay, so these guys are watching a movie together. Maybe we do some little encouraging of Iris and like, you know, talk about, I know, I know your brother's not saying the best example for homework, but please make sure you, oh, I still need to get them married as well. Jesus, maybe we try and do that today. So much to do. Maybe, you know, make sure that you are doing your homework at least. Uh, we didn't get promoted today, but I think we, ooh. <gasps> Samir is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. I'm actually going to ask if he wants to come over here. So Samir is our new best friend. We actually have a pretty huge crush on him, but he's not interested in us. So it's kind of awkward. So yeah, this is Samir. He's looking real sad let's go have a chat with him oh we're on high five status nice oh because it's all about death just the usual gen 10 problems guys gen 10 problems everyone's dying everywhere when bowen is now level three good job level three of your movement how are you doing on your skills because you're going to be aging up soon imagination five two five three two two that's genuinely not so bad you are on your way to make a mess though which is actually completely fine because i need to discipline you so this this is fine oh and look at that caught in the act with flour and barbecue sauce, I am gonna discipline, calm, hug it out over making a mess. 
Please don't do that, Bowen. It's so naughty. Have some hugs instead. And boom. Okay, we've completed the first part of Super Parent. Now, we've already got level six parenting skill. We've already had a child with character values within the range to receive a trait. Now, we've just got to help a child with schoolwork for four hours. Oh, hello, Iris. How do you feel about doing some schoolwork? Maybe after dinner, because you've got a bit of a poorly tummy at the moment. And wow, this is not going to help the tummy. If you've already got poor tummy from eating junk food, don't eat dirt. That's like, no, don't do that, babes. And oh my gosh, look at this. Just to show how friend zoned Rain is, it literally says it's not just friends, it's like just friends. Emphasis on the just Rain, just friends. And also, Rain has decided that he likes metal music. Okay. We've got a metalhead. He was wearing Metallica t shirts as a kid, so it, it kind of makes sense. I don't really know where it's coming from because I don't see Gordon as a metalhead. I'm not getting that vibe from him, but who knows? Maybe he is. Maybe he is. Here he is listening to metal. It actually weirdly matches the look I gave him. Like, everything's coming together. Me and the game are working side by side to make Metalhead Rain a thing. I kind of want to grow him a beard. Now, he got a little bit of stubble when he aged up from preteen to teen. So we'll slowly grow that, but he's only a teenager. He's not going to probably have a massive beard. Although some, some teens do get it. Some teens do get it, but I will continue his, like, Metalhead progression as we go along. Okay, since I want to do the wedding soon, I do want to help you with your homework, but... You need to finish your meal anyway. So I'm going to go for a little jog, do a little pre-wedding pampering of myself. I also really want to give her like a new look, like ease up. So yeah, we need promotions on both accounts so we can afford the mortgage, but also so that I can just be like this super parent slash 50s housewife. I really want to do the 50s makeover. I've downloaded some CC for that. We're all ready to go. I'm especially excited to give her her new hair, but I can't really do the full progression until we reach level 10. We are so close. Like we are literally so close. I'm almost a kitchen's worst nightmare. And Bruno Yi has died and left oh <gasps> i just got a payday gordon's dad who he wasn't actually that close with although now he's feeling real sad gordon's dad has died he's actually mourning the dog over the dad which probably tells you everything you need to know and we just got a seven grand payout if i didn't have to complete the chef's job i would probably just quit my job even earlier than i'd previously suggested but i'm actually gonna use that money on getting a cool area down here for what's my child called rain that is what my child's called and since he's like a metalhead i'm gonna like start switching up his room like accordingly because i don't know i feel like it'd be more into like blacks and darks like you know like this kind of sofa color and like dark we've already got the dark moody walls but like metal posters up and stuff that kind of vibe okay so i've given him some like posters here i want to get him an electric guitar because i just kind of feel like that is the right energy too we've had quite like a few people interested in music in the family now so you know it could be in his genes to be good at music we've also had some people that were terrible at music though so i'm not quite sure and i want just like some piles of clothes and stuff on the floor i want it to like have the atmosphere of like a moody teen room okay so i've put like a tv in not a tv that is the fridge <laughs> in here so that he's got like a he can get drinks and stuff for his friends I was gonna put this artwork up as well. It's pink, but I might change the coloring a little bit to like just make that zone a bit more vibey. And I'm gonna give him a gaming chair because I feel like he would have a gaming chair. He gives me gaming chair energy, so there we go. And I'll give him a gaming PC as well. There we go. Let's go for a little RGB key keyboard moment. Yeah, you know, you know that he's a gamer. Okay, there we go. Right, his room's definitely looking way more vibey now. Oh wait, I should get him a PlayStation or an Xbox or something. Okay, there we go. I'll get him an Xbox. And then he can not do his homework and play video games. And uh, let's help Iris with her homework. They're such opposite children. I feel like it's like almost like so sitcom perfect, like the moody metalhead teenage boy and the butter wouldn't melt sweet little girl that helps us out with the dindins. But it's kind of just the way it's worked out and I'm just going to go with it. And oh my gosh, one thing I've learned about Bowen. I don't know why my table stinks, by the way. The table just stinks. I'm going to have to move it and check. But one thing I've learned about Bowen is he is a proper little talker. When I'm making dinner, he's just there at the side of me, like babbling away the whole time. We're trying to do homework here and again. He's just bubbling. Look at his pretty eyes. Bubbling away, loving a little chit chat. He's just a really chatty little kid. It's actually so cute. And look, Gordon's not even sad anymore. Definitely wasn't so close to the fams, was he? Where is his dad? Oh no, he wasn't a complete stranger to him. But he was a passive parent and he was an alien. So is he really dead? I don't know. But most importantly of all, he was evil. 
he was evil so we just we just weren't that close he just came in and cried about tofu again he's more sad about tofu genuinely rain can we turn off megadeth i don't really want to be listening to uh oh he can brutally dance though which is quite cool i don't want to be i don't want to be listening to like rammstein at midnight on a school night with a toddler you know oh but we're moshing okay we're just moshing in the hallway that's so metal so metal moshing in your let's do this as well i get out of metal Moshing in your parents' hallway, like, just... This is my jam! This music is brutal and I am quite fond of it. Okay, cool. Good job. Good job, Rain. Oh, and he's air guitaring. I have not should have not picked up the guitar I've bought you to learn as new skill. But you're headbanging and air guitaring to Rammstein instead. Okay, Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Please learn guitar. I paid so much money for it. Okay, and let's see how this sounds compared to the radio. Rock on. Rock on, Rain. It's, you're so metal. You are so metal. Oh, and I've just realized I've literally never used this, I don't think. I can get the Insta Lean Potion if we want to, like, just get a wedding ready body super quickly. So I'm going to redeem this. I'm interested to see how this works. I'll wait till she's got out the shower. She's also on a period, the poll thing. And uh, let's go ahead and drink this potion. To be honest, she's pretty lean already. Like she has been doing some jogs. Wait, you're going to work first? God damn it. Wait, 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 don't. I want to see the potion first. You can go to work after. I want to see the effects. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh geez. Wait, what, wait, what? Most of it seems to pour out. My, you've changed. Have a sim become max thin and max fat within one lifetime. Wait, when was she ever max far? I don't remember that. And also, I don't think her body's changed whatsoever. Am I missing something here? I thought it would do like a little, like a little zoom and she'd like spin and look different. I'm not seeing any changes at all. I've been lied to. I have been lied to. I wonder if that's linked though to Rain's height not changing either. I'm suspicious. I'm very suspicious. Okay, we're meeting some new victims at school. This is great. Gordon doesn't have work today, so I'm going to be that neighbor and go ahead and start promoting my political cause at the local neighborhood community spot because he's got to do it for his job so why not plus it could be a nice way to you know meet some people by yelling angry at them i don't know but i feel like this is getting him because it's like no sim left behind i feel like it's getting him more hyped for the adoption again that he's always wanted to do his whole life like they're starting to have a little bit of a money cushion again now maybe now could be a good time for it let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i'm gonna have our little metalhead invite over some friends Okay, flirting on me. Some friends for school. I'm like, who else kind of looks like they were into like alternative vibes? I'm thinking Jeffrey. Let's invite Jeffrey around. I'll practice some guitar while we wait and then we'll play like Overwatch together. Wait, Jeffrey Yi? Am I related to you? Jeffrey is my uncle, but is also a teenager. No freaking way. What? Oh, <gasps> it's my dad's brother? Wait, wait whoa. Half brother. Different mom. Interesting. That was a late child. Okay, well, I can't romance my uncle. So who else can we add to the gang? Let's invite around Jace because he kind of looks like very like we'd copy his homework. Like, you know, Jeffrey and I are going to copy Jace's homework and kind of mess with him, you know? Plus, I'm supposed to be doing this whole... Wow, that is an interesting hip to shoulder ratio there. I'm supposed to be doing this get caught cheating and breaking up couples. <gasps> and Liv's been promoted. Amazing. Oh my gosh, well done. Big healthy bonus. That's going to help with the wedding. I'm now level nine. So I only need to get one more promotion. And we're done. I am the creator of the finest believers if I can do that. Okay, time to start breaking hearts. <gasps> and oh my gosh, I leaned her too much. Oh, she just came home from what? Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, that is very lean. I don't want to be a culture columnist. I kind of miss her like curves, especially for the 50s dress. Okay, I've got to cook something that's going to make me curve out a little bit more. Let's do a rack of lamb. Oh, and I just got the wedding thing. Many, 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 give me now. We're going to be married in seven days. So this is completely fine. In fact, wait, Bowen is a toddler. When do you age up, Bowen? You age up tomorrow as well. Okay, tomorrow could be a hectic day. We're going to get married on Sunday. That is the plan. It's going to be a Sunday wedding right here. Sims needs to be engaged or married. Wait, am I not engaged? Oh, wait, that's Bowen. 
that would explain that one. At a wedding event, I can't believe it's taken them this long to get married. It's because they wanted the kids involved. Oh, well, Liv wanted the kids involved in this ceremony. I need to add all of these cuts because I've not asked anyone yet, but we will sort that out. I'll figure out the outfits too. I'm not going to do a dress code because it never works anyway. Where could we get married? I'm kind of digging up the idea of a beach wedding. I need to set up the lot. Let's just play it safe and go for the wedding venue. Let's just be sensible heads. And we'll do like a little... Wait, why can I only start at 10 p.m.? Have I done the wrong day? I did the wrong day. Oh my gosh, Claire. Let's start at 1 p.m. I think that's sensible. Let's start at midday. Let's just start at midday. Boom. Wedding is booked in. Birthday tomorrow, wedding on Sunday. And I decided pizza. It's a pizza, Friday night pizza kind of vibes. I can't get over how different she looks. Like, it's not actually changed her body, like... Wait, what are you doing? No, no, no. Help with the homework. Why would you just walk in there when I told you to help with the homework? Liv, what are you doing? Come on, you need this. It wouldn't change her actual body shape, would it? Like, she's still got the same genetics. It just made her really lean, right? That's what happened. Wait, are you helping with the homework too? Every I'm just stealing my thunder here, brain. <gasps> and okay, two super parents done in one go. Go in full parenting mode, okay? And have a child with three positive character value traits. <gasps> oh, geez, that one's hard. Okay, Iris, Iris, we're gonna have to focus a lot on you, babes. These are the character value traits right here. Oh, you might get three. Wait, manners, responsibility, and empathy. I think you could definitely age up with those. Just keep being good. <gasps> you are my hope, Iris. Rain, I'm sorry, but you're really not, babes. I love you, but you're just not my hope for this. And Iris is going through a phase. She will pick up the instrument any chance she gets. Yell often and turn all radios up to 11. No, 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 no. I need those character value traits. They are like gold dust to me now. Please just be a good child. And Rain has entered a new do 10,000 sit-ups in one go phase. <gasps> he's going to be one of those metal heads that also like does that really heavy lifting. Like he's a power lifting metal head. That's what he is. It's a thing. It is a thing. If you look at power lifters in the gym, I feel like there's a definite crossover of people who have that metal look and people that go in and lift as heavy as possible. Like, there is, like, a perfect circle of the two of them. I'm putting a heart because, honestly, it's a great aesthetic. Rain is going to be my power lifting metal head. In fact, wait, why can't I buy anything? Okay, I'm going to get you some weights. Do you want some weights? Do you want to start power lifting, my son? We can make that happen. We can definitely make that happen. You're kind of running out of space down here. I'll tell you what, can I do a basement extension? Can I afford a basement extension? Oh my gosh, it's so cheap to extend your basement. Who knew? I have some things in my inventory to sell. Oh, beautiful boots. Is that enough to buy the weights machine? I have to delete the eye chart? Oh, yes. And wait, am I just spending all of my money when I've got a wedding this weekend? <laughs> this might not be wise. We'll figure out a way to get the cash. I'm sure the boy will be away. You've got to have the weights machine. There you go, Rain. And he's going to get buff. Are you ready for to see some huge muscles? Because they're going to happen. And oh my gosh, Gordon has work today. Thank God. We'll have some money. That oh, he's got work on Sunday as well. <sighs> okay, please, please bring some money home for me. I'm having an issue. I've, I've had this so many times, like literally so many times in my sim history where my sims can't cook. It's a really frustrating thing that happens where I just want to like do a little birthday cake for Bowen today and they'll get as far as the prep and they just won't use the oven. Like they'll just be like, Simsy, Wille! And I'm like, Ugh, every there's no reason why you can't do this. It's super frustrating and I don't know why it happens. It happened like in way back in my Disney Princess series and it's been happening ever since. I don't know what causes it, but it's driving me crazy. So look, here is her cake and she just stops it at this point. And like, I can move it onto different counters. I even replaced the built-in oven and bought this oven. And she just can't complete it. It drives me so crazy. Like, I don't know why. If anyone has managed to fix that bug, please let me know. Because I've had this bug for like two years. I don't know what does it, but it's driving me so crazy. And Gordon's hope, Gordon, you bought me $300. I'm supposed to pay for a wedding with $300. I need cakes. I should be able to bake. This is the most frustrating thing. I should be able to bake my own wedding cake. And I can't because of the bug. And I can't afford to buy one. So how do I make the cake happen? How, how am I going to make this happen? This is going to be a very scrimpy wedding, which is the complete opposite of what we wanted. That's why we waited so long. And Rain is going through a phase. He's feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while. How is that any different to normal? I don't know. He's also feeling stinky, which again, absolutely, absolutely right on cue as well. Okay, so I guess we'll just leave him in his little cave. 
Eric Lu oh my gosh, Gordon's brother wants to hang out. Oh, no, it's okay. We didn't we didn't go there. We didn't go there. Yeah, he can hang out because I guess he'll probably be involved in the wedding, right? I'm going to find some things to dig and sell so I can try and pay for my wedding. And what is a neighborhood garden for if not for robbing and for selling? Okay, we're now looking a little bit closer to a thousand pounds, which I feel like is, you know, about right for a wedding. I had a really early start time and I've got nothing prepared for the wedding. I've not even asked people to do things. Maybe you should ask your brother to be like, there's no best man role. Why is there no best man role? Yeah, I would ask him to be best man, but I don't want him to be an officiant. I don't want him to be a ring bearer. I don't really want him to be a sim of honor. I guess sim of honor is the equivalent of best man, but... I'm going to give that to Alicia instead. So yeah, no, no role for you, Eric. Gordon's a level 10 parent too. Oh, also Alana can be a sim of honor too. I'm going to have Iris be the ring bearer. Wait, no, you can be the flower pal. Love Bowen is the ring bearer. Alicia will be a sim of honor. I'm suspicious. Mischievous soul nearby. An acquaintance of Livy's around who is not the kind of acquaintance you want to know. However, more the type that you want to avoid. Liv barely knows the other sim, but the aura of mischief irks her. We know who that is. That's Eric. Even though we find him really attractive, we definitely find him untrustworthy too. And Alana will be my other sim of honor. And Bowen I can't ask until he ages up. Oh my gosh, the fact that I can't bake this cake. You guys don't understand. It's driving me so crazy. Gordon, can you bake it? Nope, nobody can bake the cake. What about if I just put the cooker like, like literally here? Oh, you can cook if it's there. How does that make any sense? I don't know, but at least we'll have a birthday cake. So I can help blow out candles. Bowen, okay, and this is good because I can also make my own wedding cake now. I just have to cook it on the porch for some reason. And I'm gonna go for a blue wedding cake because it is blue gen. I'm gonna do the pillow cake and I can't, like her new figure is just, no, I don't know. It's There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not live. It's just not what I'm used to. Um, okay, this is disturbing. We're all getting involved in this birthday. Like, through each other's bodies. But Bowen is about to age up into a child. Oh, it's actually really nice because Alana and uh, Alicia are here to celebrate too. <gasps> and child Bowen is here. He's immediately changed his hair back, but... We'll, we'll make him blonde again. And he was so chatty. I feel like we've got to like give him some kind of social based trait. He's definitely like my most chatty child I think I've ever had. Maybe outgoing. Yeah, outgoing makes total sense. And it's got to be social, right? So let's nip into Cass and pop all of his um, CC back on. Here is how he looked before. Oh, and we'll be able to see if what's his face as jeans start coming out because he's not Gordon's child, is he? <gasps> We never even told the other guy that he has a son. I guess it would just make things too awkward. It's meant to be a secret affair. Okay, he's got his eyes back on. He has very fiercely angled eyebrows. I'm trying to soften them, but oh, he's looking kind of angry, you know? Maybe we go for those ones. I'm going to give him his blonde hair. Why does he kind of look like Malfoy? <laughs> Why have I birthed Malfoy? He had quite long hair as a child, so I'm going to keep his hair quite long. Plus, I've never used that hair before. It's from Ginkgo Sims. And I'm kind of feeling like he looks like Liv, which could be Liv saving grace, genuinely. I'm going to use this Rhonda skin on him here. And I've got to say this, <laughs> there's no reason why he would look like Gordon. Like there's literally no reason why it should happen. This is Gordon and this is Bowen. Definitely not looking very similar. Wait, where did all your skin details just go? How did you take those off? What? Okay, that's never happened to me before. He literally took off all his skin details. Wait, what? Okay, so this is little Bowen. For reference, this is Irwin, who we, Irvin, Irvin, yeah, who we had the um, affair with. I think there's definitely some similarities. He's got half blue eyes, half brown eyes. So he's got a bit of Liv and a little bit of um, Irvin in there. But yeah, I think he, he looks quite like his dad but luckily overall i still think he looks more like Liv. maybe i don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think in the comments i'm seeing quite a lot of the dad in there worryingly so and since we're getting married tomorrow i'm gonna give him like a a little ready for wedding outfit i think we go blue because it's blue gem and yeah he's just like quite an outgoing happy social little kid so he's quite different to how rain was i would say don't worry i still love both of them equally so here he is in his little pjs oh you're so tired you have no bed oh my gosh you have no bed before you go to sleep i would like you like let's let gordon do it oh 
be more awkward. Let's let Gordon ask you to be the ring bearer at the wedding, okay? Please stop walking into the kitchen counters. It really, like, breaks my immersion. Thank you. And school's out. Bowen will not need to return to school until the fall. Wait, is it still summer? Is it literally still summer? Why are my, all my kids so stinky all the time? And yeah, Gordon's gonna be like, oh! We'd like you to like don't forget he's really close to Bowen. Like this is the child. Wait, did he say no? <gasps> he doesn't want to be ring bearer at the wedding? Oh, that's so freaking awkward. Is it because he's in a bad mood? Child, are you are you okay? Oh, you are really gross and you have no bed. Okay, maybe we ask him once he's had a night's sleep. I will totally forget to do that. You just know I will. But he doesn't have a bed right now. And I don't have another room. Am I going to have to make him bunk with Irish? He's almost a teenager. Like, I need to figure out I need a bed situation. Oh, God. Uh, you might be sleeping on the sofa, Gordon. Until we figure this out. Yeah, don't be sliding in front of bed because you figured out what's going on. You're napping here. And Bowen can sleep in the bed instead. Once he's had a proper night's sleep, I'm going to ask him again if he wouldn't mind being ring bearer. Honestly, my brother hated being ring bearer as well when he had to do it when he was younger as a child. So maybe there's a bit of that going on. You don't ask kids things when they're tired. It's just a, it's just a really bad idea. Oh, and oh my gosh, look at the freaking wedding cake. What? That's amazing. Can I like improve it and garnish it? It's already fine. It's already amazing. And what phone call have I just had? What freaking phone call have I just had? Seriously. Oh god. I'm gonna get select a topper for the wedding cake first. I'm gonna do a blue rose. Are you just not gonna tell me what happened? Who died? I'm so what does that music mean? We're sad about somebody for two days. Who died? Who died? Was it Zane? Was Zane still alive? I don't know. These guys are dead. No, Zane was dead. Was Zane was dead? Was it Peaches the dog? I don't know. Someone died and I'm not sure who because I was picking a cake topper. But the cake is selected for the wedding. I'm going to wake up the child and be like, when you're, whilst you're confused and you've only just got out of bed, please be a ring bearer. It's important to me. Ring bearer at the wedding? What do you say? Yep, so for Shay, he said, which is a strong yes. Well done. Good job. Interesting that he said no to Gordon when he's not Gordon's son, but he did say yes to love. Uh, hashtag awkward. And birthday done. It is time for wedding, but we're going to do that in the next episode. So finally, finally getting these two married. We'll pick all the outfits and everything in the morning and pick all the like the family's outfits too. I'm just going to update the wedding planner for our Sims of Honor. Nope, we're not going to do the officiant because it, it's just slow. Flower bowl, uh, ring bearer and guests. Obviously, I didn't think Rain would want to be involved in the wedding because he's like a teenager. So, you know, <laughs> no. Can you imagine? Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Let's make things spicy. I feel like Gordon would be like, isn't it? It's kind of weird that you're not inviting like your old childhood friends. So we invite him for that reason. I want to see if like Bowen gets any like new previously unseen things that I can click. And like, if he thinks that maybe it's his father, I'm going to try it. I'm just going to try it. Because you've got to do a father son secret meet, even if they don't know that they know that they know. Okay, guests are invited as well. Boom. We've got our cake and outfits we're doing tomorrow. It's looking good. It's looking well organized. And the final thing I have to do is send you guys your invites. So expect that in the mail and make sure you tune into the next episode so you can enjoy the wedding finally that has happened. And I will see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.